<coughs> that sounds beautiful. I'm a good way to start my introduction. <laughs> Hi, um, good afternoon, and just about on time. I'm actually in the gap between um, event. I'm setting up with the event tonight. Now, I'm not sure when I'm going to do broadcast, but I just got 5 p.m. slot, jumped in doing it. So, welcome to my daily Facebook Live. Um, be on YouTube in a minute. I'll tell you about that later on. Um, today's topic, episode 672. The topic today is um, seek truth in love, in life, in business, and in your teachers. And before I jump into that and get into my, <laughs> it might be a rant, let me choose myself so you know I am what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate supporter, actually a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. I've helped women create balance in love, life, and business. And being a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, it inspired these talks I've done every day now for over two years called Messages from the Mask of Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And today, I've been seeing quite a few posts from various people, as well as also, um, I'll say this. And by the way, I'm, I'm in a vehicle, but I'm not driving. I'm just stationary, just to be clear. It's like, don't drive in Facebook Live, you know. Um, I've seen a lot of posts recently about what I'm calling the screw you gurus. <laughs> they inspired the whole thing about truth, because I've become very clear now, more than ever, that there's a lot of bullshit going on. In the coaching industry, a lot of bullshit in the teaching industry, a lot of bullshit in the guru industry. Because a lot of people are out there to make a fast buck and, and people are paying the price doing that. Even now, and I thought this was over in the 80s, but it's still going on. And I thought, well, I'll bring this up in the context of relationship first, and then I'll get into my rant. Because the reality is for many people, seeking truth is almost secondary to seeking love. And for me, I'm realizing more and more that you can't have real love without real truth. And I mean this from the point of view of a um, compatibility conversation, a desire to have healthy relationships, a desire to be in a conversation that is authentic, true, and rich. Because sometimes it's nice to be in love with somebody, but I did a talk, actually it was a talk in article, I was talking about something recently, about being in a relationship where somebody cheats on you, lies to you, does all the other things to you. That ain't truth. It may be their... Um, expression of being real, but it's not the truth you probably want. Truth for me, so I'm looking for, it's getting warm in here, so let me see. Okay, there we go. Put the, put the vents on so I can cool down a bit because it's like getting warm in this car because I'm not moving anywhere. The thing I'm talking about really is that we are, ten, we are um, <laughs> convinced to believe the, for, the fakeness that comes out. Fake lies is one of the things I was going to talk about for a second, but I'm not going to go over there. The fake truth, the fake news stuff. But the thing is, for a lot of us, we are falling for um, pie-in-the-sky promotions, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in jobs that we go looking for, whether it's in partnerships in life, and whether it's in our teachers. Because so many teachers are out there who are just full of crap, to be totally transparent. And it's been bugging me because I've seen, I've seen so many people fall for that trap. And that, to me, is upsetting. So I'm just speaking now in a very brief work. I'm actually in the middle of going somewhere, so I've got to stop and do this now before I go to my next thing because I'm setting up the event tonight. Um, to just give you a little nudge in the direction of um, being aware and being cautious. Truth is a very interesting thing. And in some ways, there's personal truth and absolute truth. And personal truth is really where you're aligned to what you believe is true. Simple as that, in some ways. So when you're in a relationship with somebody, you might be looking for someone whose personal truth matches yours, which is good, as long as you know that it's going to be consistent with what you have. I've seen some recent bro um, posts about people breaking up and having problems because their things don't work at the partnership. Sometimes it's because they came to the end justify justified and it's clean, which is truth. Or maybe it was where one person cheated on the other person or lied to them, but it's some other thing that really destroyed them. And that wasn't very truthful. It was upsetting. And so my messaging here is really about not so much a cautionary tale as a, sorry, helicopter, helicopter flying over, as being really clean with your own choice. And not only that, but just let me bring you back to home base. How truthful can you be in your life? How willing are you to speak the truth when it's not convenient? How willing are you to speak the truth when it's not, in, when it's not comfortable? in your relationships, at your job, 
to your teachers in every part of life? When you can get there, when you can be that blatant, that vulnerable, that real, that authentic, that's when life starts to make things happen in a positive way. But please stop believing the lies, the bullshit, the other things that people tell you, and you just follow blindly believing it. Not from your partners, not from your employers, and not from your teachers. And I mean spiritual teachers, business teachers, always teachers. There are too many out there making up stories and bullshitting you, and having you pay money you don't get your value from. Now, I'm in the business of teaching about love and relationships, and I believe what I teach is valuable. I also believe it's the truth, because I will give you the truth, and that's why a lot of people are scared to work with me, because I don't hold back. So if you're looking for the truth in your guidance, in your love life, in your teachers, and you want help, let's talk, because I will definitely give you some, of the, some home truth. But at the same time, truth can be gifted and provided in a way that is constructive, not destructive. So look at truth as a, way, as a way to be more aligned, more in love, and more fulfilled in your life, and to attract the love you really want, because really, truth is a powerful tool for that. Speaking of which... Um, and by the way, I'm realizing I haven't gone anywhere near the depth I was going to go to in this broadcast. I'm holding back because I've got, I've got a short window to do this. I may do this tomorrow, maybe, maybe after the weekend because it's a busy weekend I've got. But this topic about the um, screw you gurus, it's going to come up again. I've talked about it with a few people recently. It's becoming a common thread. So I need to talk about that more, but that's for another time. But I'm just going to leave you with this message. Love and truth are key tools to having healthy relationships. Love I was promoted, and I, that's why I talk about self-love. In fact, I'm going to put the link in the comments once again. For those of you looking to have more love in your life from yourself before you even fall in a relationship, which I recommend highly. But also look for truth as well. Because there's so much pro, um, I was going to say propaganda, interesting word, messaging put out there on your dating profiles and in, your, in life that you might have to be convinced by somebody else's beliefs. It's one of those things that comes in very handy if you're dealing with a narcissist or a sociopath or just a real annoying person. The more truthful you are, the more it can upset them and have them leave you, which is good things. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, take to heart to this message. It will change your life. It will help you. If you want help, I'll leave a, message. I'll leave a link in the comments for a contact form so you reach out to me. This is my daily Facebook Live, and this is a short one today because I was in the middle of doing some stuff. Um, if you want more information, you can reach me, and I'll put the links in the comments, as I mentioned. This is my Facebook Live I do every day at 5 p.m. usually. This weekend, we'll see what happens because I'm at an event all weekend. Um, starts tonight, which I'm going to go get back in now. And we're going to get going. Um, so you can find me on my business, my personal page at facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page, which is barryselby.author. And also on YouTube, which I please invite you to subscribe to my channel, which is Barry Selby. And the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. So with that, if you have any questions, comments, please put them below it. I'd love to start a conversation about this. It's something we need to talk about. Um, truth in advertising, or truth instead of advertising. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.